Let's take a more in-depth look at Autograph's procedural shape generators by going into the parameters in the Properties panel. Let's create a rectangle generator and go into its parameters by either unfolding them or clicking on the arrow button on the right. These transform parameters were defined when the rectangle was created, in order to place it in the composition. By resetting the position parameters to 0, 0, we can recenter the rectangle, since in Autograph the coordinates 0, 0 refer to the center of the composition. Let's go into the generator parameters and go over them. The first parameter is Mode, which determines the positioning of the rectangle. The Center plus Edge Offset mode will determine the center of the rectangle, then the distance of the right, left, top, and bottom edges from the center point. The parameters that follow, left, bottom, right, and top, determine the distance in pixels from this reference point. Changing the offset parameter will also change the position of the four edges. Center plus Size mode also determines the center point, from which the width and height in pixels are defined. Top left plus bottom right mode defines the position of the two opposite points, the top left and bottom right. This mode is especially useful when you need to insert a rectangle between two positions. So you can choose one of these three modes depending on the animation you want to create. The rotation parameter allows you to apply a rotation from the center, even before applying a transformation with the path's transform section. So you can use this rotation to define an initial orientation even before applying transformations, which comes in handy when working with shapes with spikes like triangles and stars. The next four parameters that mention the radius are used to round the four corners with different values. Bear in mind that this generator adds points with tangents to create these rounded corners. Let's go up a level in the hierarchy to access the shapes generator, add a stroke style, and change its color to make it more visible. As you can see, any changes made to this generator will change the resulting vector shape. Even though each corner has its own parameter, we can select them all to assign them the same value. Then we can use the size parameters to change the size of the rectangle. It's important to remember that this generator produces a vector shape, which means that it can be combined with other shapes or generators. For example, by adding a second rectangle generator in union mode, which will combine it with the previous generator. We can then change the parameters or the Boolean operations for each of these generators. Here, for example, to difference mode. So the second rectangle will cut through the first rectangle. We can go into Rectangle 2's parameters to modify the top left radius value. To easily adjust the second element, let's go up a level in the menu hierarchy and select Rectangle 2 from this list. Then use the Transform tool to move it. Then we can easily create a hole inside of the first rectangle. Working with vectors, we're actually creating a new composite shape with a hole in the center. Progressively combining the shapes is never destructive and allows us to go back to either of the generators at any time to modify their parameters. We'll see that animating them also allows for great creativity. In this video, we went over how to use the rectangle generator, modify its parameters, and combine it with other generators.